Hi friends, let me show you what I got from local supermarket in Japan under $40. We got healthy snacks, spring seasonal vegetables along with how to use them. Stay tuned, especially if you're planning to shop at the Asian supermarket this week. Starting with miso paste, I got these two brands for this week. They are both yellow miso cause that's what kids love. I like the one that says no additives. This one especially says that the probiotic is still active. It sounds good to me. If you guys are looking for more miso recipes, check out the playlist after this video. Firm tofu, three packs for one dollar. I buy some type of tofu every week. Just a heads up, for the next video, I'll show you how I meal prep using some stuff from today's grocery haul thanks to the request from many of you guys, so don't miss out. With firm tofu, I'm gonna make some broccoli tofu salad. Sneak peek for the next video, lots of healthy vegetable rich recipes coming up. I'm actually editing now, so hopefully we'll be finished in time. Of course, I have to buy natto. I already talked a lot about natto, so check out the last haul if you want to know more. The link is in the description box below. And konyaku. Do you guys know what this is? Konyaku is made of konyak yam, low in carbs and high in fiber. It has a little bit of earthy and seaweedy smell. You can put it into the soup or enjoy as salads. I'm trying to show you how bouncy that is. <laughs> it's chewy and bouncy. Next, we have fish cake called chikuwa in Japanese. It's made of pasted white fish along with some seasonings like soy sauce and marine and many more. You can enjoy it as is or put them into the hot pot. I made shrimp dumpling soup using fish cake as a main ingredient. Let me put the link for you in the description box below. Canned corn for $4. And this is something that I always have in my pantry. And canned tomato for $1 for each. Healthy snack time, guys. Dried sweet potato. Everyone has something you just cannot stop munching on. Am I right? <laughs> to me, this is it. Let me show you the inside. It's just simply steamed and dried sweet potato. It's chewy, moist, and sweet. When my kids were little, this was their go-to snack because I don't feel guilty giving them. Now I'm the only one who is still addicted. This one is rice seasoning called yukari. It's vegan. Kids are doing something dangerous and it's so hard not to be distracted. But anyways, yukali is tart and salty, almost similar to pickled plum, except it comes in a powder form. You can simply mix it in the rice or sprinkle on the veggies. I'll show you how to use it in the next meal prep video. Mushrooms. Shiitake mushroom, enoki mushroom, and maitake mushroom. This maitake mushroom has the strongest aroma out of three. If you are a mushroom lover, definitely pick this mushroom. I made vegan miso mushroom pasta using these mushrooms, perfect for a weekday dinner. Again, leaving the link down in the description box for you. And spring onions. Is this also called scallion in English? I always buy bog on the weekend and chop them up, then keep them in the fridge. I sprinkle on pretty much everything. Leek. It's the winter seasonal vegetable, so the season is already over, but I use it a lot throughout the year. Cucumber. <laughs> the cucumber we have in Japan is not that thick and very crunchy. Burdock again. In Japanese, it's called gobo. 
I'll show you delicious kids-friendly meal prep ideas using this gobo next week. It's perfect for the bento box too. One turnip for one dollar. Japanese mustard spinach in three dollars. And this one is a rape flower, only available from March to April. It has a unique bitterness, so it might not be for kids, but I love them. So many ways to enjoy it too. Great for salad or we'll mix with the rice or we'll add them into the simmer dish. This dry tofu simmer dish is included in the meal prep edition, so I hope you guys will enjoy that. How many of you are familiar with eating this rape flower? Let me know in the comment section below. And broccoli. Usually it's somewhere between $2 to $3, but today I got this under $1. Yay! <laughs> and carrot. This is called new carrot, which has a thinner skin and high in water content. Under $3 for this portion. So pretty good deal, I think. And you have to have bananas for kids. Comes in $1 and chicken mince. From the frozen section, I have to grab frozen blueberries and edamame, staple healthy snack for kids. Frozen blueberries are very expensive, usually cost over $4 just for heaps of one cup. But in the wholesale market, I can always get one with a reason price. If you guys are living in Japan and looking for frozen blueberries, Gyomyo Super is where you have to shop at. And soy milk for $2. This is for this week's haul. In the last haul, some of you guys asked me if those will cover our entire family of four for a week. Well, that portion only covers half the week, so I usually have to do another trip in the middle of the week. Thanks for lots of questions, guys. Again, I'm going to do the meal prep on the next video, so hope to see many of you there. Please share this video with friends and families. See you in a few days. Bye, またね!